Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I'm wrapping up the location series, at least for now, with a fantastic Australian invention for getting your lost items back, and it's called Rescuer. Over the last few weeks we've looked at four different Bluetooth tags you can attach to your valuables to help you find them when they're lost. Sadly, that form factor is just not convenient for protecting everything. It might be handy for your keys, backpack, gym bag, or similar. But it's a bit bulky to attach to something like a laptop, an iPad, calculator, passport, or external hard drive. The team from Rescuer have come up with a solution. Firstly, I love the name. It sounds like Rescuer, but it's actually Res QR because it uses a QR code. Schmick, like it. I also love their tagline, nothing stays lost. Makes sense. Thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic and the requirement, at least in Australia, to check in to all sorts of locations with a QR code, pretty much everyone knows what to do when they see a QR code like this. What Rescuer have done is come up with a series of inexpensive stickers, tags and labels that you can stick or clip to those items and if they're found, they can be returned back to you. A few things that spring to mind that you might want to use this for are things that go out with you a lot, like laptops, maybe even a bicycle, toolkits, those expensive scientific calculators, and other things that you really don't want to lose, like a passport. Anything that's slim, expensive, or a real pain to replace. You could even put one on a phone or a tablet, although if set up correctly, they usually have the smarts internally to be found already. I mean... Even keys are a possibility. I mean, I recommend a tag like this, but having a rescuer tag like this on them may mean that somebody finds it and lets you know even before you know you've lost your keys. So it certainly can't hurt, even if you already have an electronic tag. So, how do they work? Well, you start by buying some rescuer labels like these. There's a link up here where you can buy them through Amazon and we get a small commission or you can buy them at Officeworks, or directly on the website at resqrtag.com. R-E-S-Q-R-Tag.com. Then you need to download the ResQR app from either the App Store or the Google Play Store, and then create an account. Once your account is set up, you need a subscription. You get six months free on an annual subscription, and pay just $1 per month for up to two items or $3 per month on an annual plan for up to 30 items. Larger and corporate plans are also available. Again, we all know I'm not a fan of subscription services, but realistically, this is a fairly negligible cost, and I totally understand that they have servers to run and help desks to staff, and that the company still needs to be around and profitable in five years' time, when I actually lose something that I need returned. Now you can tap the add new tag icon. This is the toolbox that I keep my Raspberry Pi bits and pieces in. And I've left it behind once or twice at different places and freaked out. It's probably only a couple of hundred dollars worth, but it's lots of different bits and I'd have to go to all sorts of different places to buy them and replace them. So I pick the tag that I'm going to use and attach it to the toolbox. Then I scan it. I enter the name and I can either put in a reward amount or good karma. I then select the pre-filled mobile number, or I could select a different number that I want the details sent to. Note, if the tag is going on a mobile phone, make sure the notification is going to a different number, maybe a partner, parent, or close friend. There's no point somebody scanning the tag and having a notification sent to the phone that's in their hand, because you ain't getting it. Select an appropriate icon to be associated with that item, and you can even take a photo. Then tap register. It's done and my item is registered. Now it's time to hopefully not lose that item. But if you do, at least it's got a good chance of coming back to you. For the finder, the process is fairly similar. They scan the QR code on what they found and it takes them to the website. Here they're offered the reward for the missing item and they can enter their name and either a mobile number or an email address for you to contact them. The system then notifies the owner who can get in contact and organize collection. They're then offered a list where they can donate the reward to a charity, 
collect the reward, in which case the owner is notified and they can negotiate a payment method, or there is a button for no reward. The website offers some good safety tips on returning or receiving lost items. They include arranging to meet the person at a local police station, post office, or other public place during business hours. If not, always have another adult present with you. Never arrange for the finder to meet you at your place of residence. Never arrange to meet the finder at night alone. Never provide your personal details to the finder. And these are all good basic safety tips. The rescuer is available in a variety of formats, from stickers, bag tags, to heavy duty stick on labels. Prices start from $12 for the six sticker pack. And there are a range of value packs from $50 for 10 that I have here, to a family pack of 30 for $100. As I said, the rescuer tagline is nothing stays lost. And I hope that's true for you. Question of the day. What are you going to stick a rescuer tag on? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a link to that up here. Thanks. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.